What's going on, JRD Nation? In today's video, I'm gonna show you my first ever amateur boxing fight and share with you how I use my jump rope training to win. All right, first and foremost, we are starting a new thing. It's called the Notification Gang. And all this is, is that the first 100 people who comment on our videos down below when this video drops are gonna be entered automatically into a giveaway to get a free jump rope set. We'll be announcing these new jump rope set winners every single week. So if you want a free jump rope set, all you have to do is turn notifications on using the little bell below the video so you get notified when the video comes out and when it does, just leave a comment and you'll be answered to win. So a few months back, before I had my first amateur boxing fight, I asked you guys on Instagram, the Jump Rope Dude community, I said, do you want to see us publish this fight? Do you want me to talk about this? Do you want me to share it? And you guys said yes. We had a ton of comments, a lot of people saying post it up. So that's why this video is being posted right now. And that's why I'm gonna get into my experience. So before I show you the fight, I wanna answer a question that I know many of you may have. What role did my jump rope training have in my training for my fight? And how did it help me? And did it help me at all? And the short answer is yes. It helped me in two main ways. My jump rope training helped me, I think the most with my endurance. And then secondarily, it helped me a lot with my footwork. So let's talk about endurance first. I would say that the jump rope training I did was different than what a lot of other boxers actually do. Yes, any jump rope training can be very helpful in helping you build your endurance, especially as you jump rope over longer periods of time. But I consistently use the heavy ropes that we always talk about and use in our workouts here on this channel. And those heavy ropes put more resistance on my body and really put me on another level for my competition. So when I would go in the ring and spar, it's something I always noticed. I had better endurance than other people. It's because I would use these heavier ropes, the cross ropes, the half pound, the one pound, even the two pound. And using these ropes helped me build an endurance that my competition did not have. You'll see what I mean in a moment when I show you the fight. And if you want the jump ropes that I use and we use in all of our workouts and always use on this channel, they're linked up in the description below. Just enter do the thing at checkout and you'll get 10% off. All right, so the second way that my jump rope training helped me was with my footwork. I'll be honest, I have two left feet. There is a reason why I'm not in the NBA right now, and it's not just because of my height, because I'm, you know, I think I'm tall enough, like 6'2", 6'3". It's because I did not have good footwork before I started jumping rope, and I'm just not that agile. And so the training I did with my jump rope workouts helped me a lot, just getting to be comfortable on the balls of my feet and being able to move and switch directions very quickly. And I think this helped me a lot once I actually got in the ring and have my big fight. So if you're someone who's thinking about doing an amateur boxing fight, I highly recommend that you definitely pick up jump rope training, use some heavy ropes, work on your agility using our workouts, all that good stuff. So enough about my jump rope training, let's get into the fight. Next, fighting all the way from Los Angeles, California, please welcome Brandon, the jump rope dude, Elstein. Thank <laughs> you. 
saw the dedication of what these guys put their bodies through, everything like that. It is not a game, as you can see. Both fights have been amazing. So, also, Churchill Boxing will probably be doing more smoker fights, so if anybody out there is like, I want to do that inside, come on, take class, train with Caesar, with Chris, with everybody here, get your butt in here, and do a little fight. Brandon, amazing watching your work, amazing job. What do you think your strengths were in there, and how do you think you got to stop? Visualization, man. I've okay. seen it happen so many times already. So, right. so you're a Will Smith fan? Yeah. Okay. Just a little Willie. Big Willie style. Big Willie style. Big. Have you read The Alchemist? Of course. Okay. Awesome. Right there from Brandon. If you see it, you can dream it. If you dream it, you can dream it right there. Give it up for Brandon Wesley! Guys, our king of you guys, thank you so much for checking out our video today. Hopefully this was helpful for you in some way or maybe just entertaining. You got to see the jump rope dudes get punched in the face. You know, so maybe that was entertaining for you. Either way, we appreciate your attention. In closing, the reason why I did this boxing fight was not to prove that I'm a tough guy or that I'm 
more of a badass than anyone else. Really, the reason why I did this fight was to overcome my own fears and just challenge myself mentally and physically. And I did, I was able to go through a lot of mental barriers that I used to have built up. So if you're thinking about doing your own fight, I highly recommend it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and we'll be sure to get back to you. If you're interested in learning more about the mindset behind the preparation I had leading up to this fight, then go ahead and check out the video I'm gonna throw on the screen right now. This video is just my own mental breakdown of what I did leading up to the fight and during the fight to perform at my peak level. That's it for the video today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next Jump Rope Dudes video. My name is Brandon Epstein. As always, jump rope, get lean, live more, and do the thing.